দর্শক আপনাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আমাদের আজকের অনুষ্ঠানে আমাদের আজকের অনুষ্ঠানের বিষয় যুক্তরাষ্ট্রের নির্বাচন পরবর্তী পরিস্থিতি আপনারা জানেন যে প্রেসিডেন্ট ইলেক্ট ডোনাল্ড ট্রাম্প তিনি হতে যাচ্ছেন যুক্তরাষ্ট্রের পঁয়তাল্লিশতম প্রেসিডেন্ট জানুয়ারি মাসে তিনি প্রেসিডেন্ট পদের জন্য শপথ গ্রহণ করবেন এখন একটি অন্তর্বর্তীকালীন ট্রানজিশন টিম কাজ করছে যাতে প্রেসিডেন্ট বারাক ওবামার কাছ থেকে এবং তার প্রশাসনের কাছ থেকে ডোনাল্ড ট্রাম্পের কাছে ক্ষমতার হস্তান্তরটি সুষ্ঠুভাবে ঘটে বর্তমান রাজনৈতিক পরিস্থিতি নিয়ে আমি আজকে কথা বলছি ওয়াশিংটন ভিত্তিক গবেষণা প্রতিষ্ঠান হেরিটেজ ফাউন্ডেশনের সিনিয়র রিসার্চ ফেলা লিসা কার্টিসের সাথে লিসা ওয়েলকাম টু আর শো থ্যাংক ইউ after the bitter political campaign it's a uh, many are saying it's a, it was a divisive political campaign um what do you think of uh the future of the political uh, situation in this country as well as united states as a whole well it was a extremely divisive election campaign and i think americans are drained and tired and weary uh, from the last year. And I think they're weary from the ugly rhetoric uh, that was espoused during the campaign. So it is time for the U.S. to move forward, uh, hopefully come together to unify, but I think it's going to take time. We still see uh, protest demonstrations right here in Washington, D.C. We see them in Portland, Oregon, Uh, all, you know, ma- all the major cities, we see some uh, very large protest demonstrations against uh, the election of, of Donald Trump. So we, we, it will take time to heal the wounds of the, the last year, and it will be incumbent on President-elect Trump to, you know, reach out and to tell the American public, you know, this is a country Uh, for all Americans, you know, regardless of race, religion, creed, background, origin. Uh, he needs to be very clear about the inclusivity of this great nation of ours and the fact that we are um, based, our, our fundamental principles are based on that of freedom of religion, for example, um, based on immigrants that have been coming to the country. You know, they call America the great American melting pot. That hasn't changed. So, you know, people are looking, I think, to President-elect Trump to make some conciliatory statements, to reach out. He had a, a good start. His acceptance speech was very gracious. Uh, he apparently had a very good meeting with President Obama. Uh, so these are, are positive steps. And I think we should take our cue from, you know, these positive signals and hope that the country will come together. Uh, one of the interesting thing, uh, things is uh, President Barack Obama, uh, during his visit to Greece, uh, he tried to assure, reassure the allies of the United States uh, with regard to NATO, because Donald Trump, uh, during his political campaign, said, which uh, created a controversy, that uh, the NATO members need to pay up if uh, in Article 5, it clearly says that uh, if one of the uh, members, member states of NATO is attacked, under attack, other members are supposed to defend and protect that member. And, uh, but Donald Trump could not, uh, said he could not guarantee that protection anymore unless the other members uh, pay up. Yeah, I think, you know, there, there is a need for some clarification. Uh, NATO is our most important alliance for the U.S. Um, it, it, you know, is extremely important. Look, uh, President-elect Trump is not the first person to raise the issue of how much the European countries spend on their defense. Uh, you know, even President Obama talked a lot with the European leaders and tried to encourage them to spend at least 2% of their GDP on defense uh, so that the U.S. Um, was not covering uh, the majority of that. So he's not the first person to raise this issue. But I think that the uh, NATO countries need some reassurance that the U.S. 
is still committed uh, to this transatlantic alliance for very good reasons, uh, whether it be meeting you know, some of the Russia aggression or Afghanistan. You still have uh, some 40 countries who are part of the uh, resolute support mission in Afghanistan. This is the mission to train and advise the Afghan security forces. So, so yes, NATO is, is very important to the U.S. It will remain so. And I think that some of the NATO countries are looking for reassurances, but I think they'll quickly find that uh, you know, the new administration uh, will be committed to this partnership. And there was some election rhetoric, uh, but also some repetition of things that have been raised in the past, but maybe in, in a slightly different way, which raised some concern.